What's going on guys? It's K Rosebud. And we are back with Between Two Souls. Um in the last one. Mainly we left off with her like this. I guess in her teenage years. Which I feel like some can be like this, but I guess what she's been going through you know, you can turn like that. If you guys know what I mean. Um but all, honestly she looks awesome like this. Uh I also Sorry, I have like no words. Mainly, let's just get into this. See where we're going from here. We the in the last one. Now I remember. Um, we pretty much set a house on fire at a party, but all the people were really mean to her anyway. And we found out that we she has a friend, um, a spirit attachment named Aiden, who seems actually I like him. It's cool. So let's get into this where we left off. It might replay a little bit of the last one, but that's okay. I said no. End of story. Yep, it's Please gonna play a little. Nathan, just this once, all the other girls in my class are going, and I won't be late. I promise, okay? You're wasting your breath, Jody. It's just not fair. How come everyone can go, and I can't? I do everything See, she you ask good here. all week, and I never get to have any for the hundredth time, you're not like everyone else, and there are rules. Well, I didn't ask to be different. I just want to go out and, and have friends and be like other girls my age. You'll never be like them. You need to get used to that. Good night. Wow. Ah! Still funny. Cool, what do you gotta say? I'll be next door. Let me know if you need Mm-hmm. Alright, let's see what we can do. Watch your ears. Okay then. That was awesome though, I did it. That's a weird temper tantrum. And you know what? Let's have a little fun. Whoops. I keep doing that. How's she grounded? She just wasn't able to go. I love the smile on my face, though. Done? Are you proud of yourself? I hope so. Because you have to clean all that up. No. Stop it, Aiden. They don't give a shit if we break everything in this goddamn room. It's not gonna work. We have to figure out what will. She's gone. She smashed up the apartment first, but <laughs> she's gone. Okay. Sure. I'll see you tomorrow. What can I do with him? I'm gonna take over his body. Oh god, I'm gonna let her out with with Cole's body. I'm 
really sorry, Cole. I hate myself for doing this, but... You understand, right? By the way, anyone notice that she's from Juno? You can you hear the voice and probably see the face a little bit? I kind of realized that a little, like, early on. But I think she's the girl from Juno. Yeah, I know. Okay. She it's knows, too. too. To back now. I kind of can't use him now. I was going to try to use him to look around, but I can't. Locked. Oh, of course it is. Okay, then. Oh. I need his key card. And there we go. He's just like, I'm just gonna keep walking, I don't care. Trip in it. Cole was just um, taking me to see the shooting stars. A apparently, there's like tons up there tonight. Have you seen them yet? Listen, I don't know if Professor Dawkins would be all right with you going outside in the middle of the night. Please. I mean, it's only going to be like a few minutes, and Cole is with me. Uh huh. I, I, I've never seen a shooting star. <laughs> That's a great lie. All right. Go ahead. I'll pretend I never saw it. What's up, Cole? Okay, got your tongue? Hmm? Uh. He lost, he, he lost his voice. I think it's like a, a virus or something. Hmm. I, that's more than, that's more than I've gotten out of him all, all day long, so. Well, it's not contagious, buddy. You should be home in bed if you ask me. It's safer for all of us. Okay. All right, well. See ya. All right. Go on now. Surprise the sensors are off. Well, at least we don't have to look for Cole's car. Oh, the shooting stars. I know it was a lie, but that would be awesome. Here. Better not hang around here too long. Get in the car and start it up. Okay, so now I'm as Aiden as Cole. Sight. Let's go, Aiden. We try not to attract attention, okay? Should I have sat in the back? Jody? Damn. 
Go, Ivan, go, go! Call Central Security. Call Central Security now! Oh, okay. Perfect. You'll forgive me, right? I'll be back soon. And don't worry, I'll be fine. Okay, Aiden, take him into the forest. Make sure he's safe. Uh... Huh. I love how he, like, I wish they kind of made Aiden able to speak as the person he is. That would honestly be great. How in the world is he just safe here? It seems so weird just to send him out there. And then just be like, okay, I'm out of your body. You can't even see him. Oh boy. What do we do, walk? Well, this is the place. The girls must be inside already. Is that the dad from um, Detroit Become Human? They're not here yet. Over there. We'll wait. How old are you, Miss? I'm 21. I just want to eliminate. <laughs> See, um. The guy at the bar. Him, the one on um, the left. Not with the plaid shirt, the other one. I'm sure you guys got it. I think he's the father, I don't remember her name, but of the little girl. He was the abusive, abusive dad. She is fifteen, maybe sixteen. Jeez. What is she doing in here on her own? I don't know. Maybe she's looking for our cup. <laughs> no. <laughs> but no, it's him who I'm thinking of. She you know what? I think I'm taking a shine to that little hole. <laughs> You're all talk, girl. Jeez. <laughs> Hey, don't tell me she ain't got you all hot under the collar, huh? Alright. Um. No, don't sit back down. Get up. Let's just leave. I don't trust it. You never know what could happen. Oh. That's it. I told you not to go, and you oh disobeyed boy. me. We're in trouble. You know how dangerous that was for Cole and for you? Hell, Jody. Don't you remember Kirsten's birthday party? You know what can happen with Aiden, right? Right? I know that was kind of boring, but I think you guys know what they would have done to her. Trying to protect you. I'm sorry. I just wanted to go out and be like everyone else for once.
I think part of me is happy I didn't drink that lemonade because you never know what even the bartender could have done. Alright, how do we do? Alright. Pass the entrance guard. Kind of spied on the customers. Only 19%. Jeez. Snucker rushed out the... Okay. Left the bar early on. And I didn't play the other side. Okay. Jody, get up. Huh? What? What's going on? Get dressed. I'll explain in the car. What? Why were we going? The DPA has launched a program to study the other side. The infraworld, as they call it. They've created a condenser, a machine to open a rift to what lies beyond. It opened a passage? To Iden's world? What? Something happened last night. Entities got through the rift and we couldn't shut down the condenser. Everybody in the building was slaughtered. None of the rescue teams came Jeez. back. They called and asked for your help. I told them you were just a child, that it was too dangerous. But they know only you know how to deal with what lies beyond the rift. She's the one that's being made to do this. And I'll take you back. It's all right. I'll do it. What exactly? Well, I think I get what we're doing, but why? Why would you want to do something like this? Okay. I'm going to leave this for the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know how you guys are liking this series. I honestly love this. This is awesome. Especially as Aiden. Because he, he can just mess everything up, and it's amazing. I know the par scene was a little boring. I'm sorry about that. But, um, I still hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments how you guys are liking it. And I will see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.